At this point, the rivalry with Kappa Sigma Theta is on, and merely existing was not going to be good enough for the new Alpha Sigma Phi. Kappa Sigma Theta owned the communication mouthpiece on campus, and we needed a way to get the word out on Alpha Sig. Remember, the only two real forms of communication in this era were word of mouth and print. The origins of the tomahawk were not for the faint of heart. It was primarily a tool to speak ill will of Kappa Sigma Theta, as they too would defame Alpha Sig. This was the equivalent of today's Twitter beef. Over the years, our magazine grew with the rest of the fraternity and shifted toward news of the national fraternity, and today, it's the oldest running fraternal publication in the United States.